Spick and Span, America's once-over cleaner for linoleum, painted walls and woodwork, and Cheer, the amazingly different wash day suds for the cleanest, whitest wash possible, present Search for Tomorrow. It's new, it's blue, it's magic. Blue magic. Here's cheer, the blue magic wash day suds. New wash day suds by Procter & Gamble. It's wonderfully different. The granules are blue, blue in color. Cheer has a formula no other wash day product uses with a blue magic whitener. So effective it gives you the whitest as well as the cleanest wash possible. That's a guarantee from Procter & Gamble or W Moneyback. Yes, this new blue cheer gives the cleanest, whitest wash possible. And how cheer brightens washable colors. How kind it is to your hand. New blue cheer is Procter & Gamble's most excitingly different wash day discovery in 115 years. Try it. You'll love cheer for everything you wash. It's new. It's blue. It's magic. Blue magic. And now, search for tomorrow. Ned, Wilbur spoke. He spoke clearly for the first time. Yes. Does that mean you'll, that you'll be able to cure him? Does that mean that he'll, he'll be able to talk like normal men? He's responding to treatment? Oh, Ned. All it means so far, Joe, is that the inner tensions that have been inhibiting Wilbur have been lessened. All it means is that the drug is starting to take effect. But that's good, isn't it? It's the first step. Well, if we only knew what was going on in his mind, maybe we could help him. Maybe we can help him anyway, Joe. Wilbur. Wilbur. Wilbur, you said you remember. What is it you were going to tell us, you remember? Wilbur? Wilbur, can you hear us? Can you tell us what it is you remember? he meant by, by the locked door. 
We'll have to have a lot more facts than we have so far, Jill, before we can even begin to guess what's going on in his mind. Oh, but, but I thought you'd ask him questions if he wakes up. No, not yet. Not until I have enough clues to make an intelligent guess. In this sort of thing, we make haste slowly. We have to have facts. I understand, Ned. It's just... It's just I'm impatient. You can't blame me for that. Yes? Oh, yes. Send him right in. Well. Hello, Mr. Sawyer. Got here as fast as I could, Mr. Barron. Yes, thanks. Let me take your coat. Oh, thank you. Just have a seat over there. Thanks. Well. It's, uh... Been a long time since you and I have done business together, huh? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten that I'm the best private investigator in town. Well, to come right to the point... Uh, uh, no, thanks, lady. That's the reason you're here. Your secretary didn't give me any details. No, she doesn't know any. This is a private matter concerning my daughter-in-law. Joanne Barron? Well, she's the only daughter-in-law I've got. You see, she's been operating a motor court. Yes, out I've heard about her, Mr. Barron. Oh? And about the difficulty she's had getting started out there. Yeah, well, the reason you're here is I want you to find out who and what are behind those difficulties. Well, why the surprise? Well... Well, that doesn't tell me much, Mr. Sawyer. You know how people talk. No, no, I don't. After all, you are the most important family in Henderson. Look, if you've got anything to say, say it. Now, take this Rose Peterson. Well, I understand the police have her. Do you know Miss Peterson? No, of course not. Then you don't know who's in back of her arrest. Well, I read in the newspapers that she was charged with armed robbery. But you don't know who signed the complaint? Well, why should I? It wasn't published in the newspapers. Well... Yes? <clears throat> I'm sure that Rose Peterson was planted out at your daughter-in-law's place for a reason. So? The reason being to put your daughter-in-law out of business. Now, look, you're not telling me anything I don't already know. Now, why I brought you in here is that I want you to find out who's in back of it all. You really want the truth? Well, of course. No matter who it hurts? Of course. All right, sir. Now I understand what I'm to do. Well, what did you think? Private detectives aren't supposed to think, Mr. Barrett. Oh. At least not until they get their job straight. Where do I start, with your daughter-in-law? No. My daughter-in-law doesn't want any help. At least, she doesn't want any help from me. All right. Oh, just one thing, Mr. Barron. Yes? You get started on a matter like this, uh, sometimes you don't know where it might lead. Well, that doesn't bother me, so don't let it bother you, Sawyer. All I want is the plain, unvarnished truth. That's what you want, sir. That's what you'll get. Hmm. Shall I call you later today? Uh, no, no. I'd rather have it personally. Well, you pick the time. Well, you better make it, say, around 5 o'clock. I'll be here. Good. Yeah. I've got you straight now. Huh? You want just what I find, no matter who is involved? Well, that's what I said at the beginning. Maybe I'm just a little dumb, Mr. Barron, but I like to have my clients understand what they ask me to do. Well, I could put it in writing. No, that won't be necessary. I'll see you at 5 o'clock. All right. Mr. Barron. Yes? Do you know of any enemies that your daughter-in-law might have in her personal life? I mean, somebody who might go to, well, say, a long way to get her out of business. Me. You? Yes. But since I've engaged you to investigate, 
You have my word, Sawyer, that I don't know any more about what happened out there than you do. I see. Well, I better get started. All right. I, uh... I hope your mind is at ease now that I'm off the suspect list. I'll see you at five, sir. With facts. I'll try to have some for you. If your living room's getting this dingy look, you can make it look newly decorated by just going once over woodwork and walls with new Spick and Span. And here's why. Thanks to new Spick and Span's amazing cleaning power, your cloth need only be damp. Then, just once over with no hard rubbing. No going back a second time to rinse and a third time to wipe dry as with soap or newest detergent. See that dirt disappear. Yes, the whole job's done in half the time with half the work because it's just once over, that's all. And see how the whole room sparkles like new. What's more, there's no soap, no leading cleaner, so mild for hands, yet clean so effectively. Yes? Just once over lightly with new spick and span. No rinsing, no wiping, once over, it's grand. Wilbur. Wilbur, listen and hear me. You said you wanted to get in a certain place. Do you hear me, Wilbur? You said you wanted to get in through a door. Don't be afraid. Go through the door. We're here to help you, Wilbur. There are people right here beside you to help you. So don't be afraid. You're not alone. We're here to help you, Wilbur. Try to go through that door. Try to go through that door. Try. 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 Hello, I'm Irene Manning with some big news. I've just come from the market and you should have heard the women buzzing about Procter & Gamble's new cheer. Well, there just isn't a product like it. Cheer is actually blue. These granules are blue in color but blue cheer whips up wonderful white suds. And your wash? Well, cheer works like blue magic, so beautifully clean and white. You see, cheer's exclusive formula contains a blue magic whitener. Wait till you see how bright your next wash is. Why, the new blue cheer guarantees you the cleanest, whitest wash possible, or double your money back. And it's so easy on washable colors. On your hands, too. Try it. Here's the box. New Blue Cheer. It's blue magic. Search for Tomorrow is brought to you every day, Monday through Friday, by Spick and Span. America's once-over cleaner for painted walls, woodwork, and linoleum, and by Cheer, the amazingly different wash day suds for the cleanest, whitest wash possible.